your question is if fx is equal to mx square plus n, nx plus m, nx cube plus m, they have given the condition x is less than 0, x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1, and x is greater than 0. For what integers m and n does both limit x tends to 0 fx and limit x tends to 1 fx exists? What does it mean? It means that first let me see, take this value. So that means x tends to 0. So 0 contains minus 0 and plus. That we will take first. So that is your first limit x tends to 0 minus. That means 0 minus means less than 0. So what condition, what is our x less than 0, that means we have to take this. So we will take that only m x square plus n. Now put the value 0 here. We will get, what we will get? m 0 square, that means 0. We will get n. Next we will take limit x tends to 0 plus. 0 plus. 0 plus means x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0. So they have already told x is greater than 0. That means we have to take this value. That is your nx cube plus m. Now substitute 0 here. What we will get? We will get m. This is over, that means this is not the factor. But they have told what integers m and n does both this and this exist. That means it should be a factor. How it should be a factor? If m is equal to m or m is equal to m. So now we can say if m is equal to n, then only it is a function. Okay. Now, we will go for this. Limit. Here it comes. X tends to 1. That means 1 minus or 1 plus. So, we will take that only. Limit. X tends to 1 minus. For 1 minus. What we have to take? We have to take this center one. Why means they have given x should be greater than or equal to 0 and should be less than or equal to 1. That means the value will lie in between this. So we will take this one. That is your nx plus m. Now substitute 1 in place of x. What we will get? We will get m plus m. This is your value. Next we will take limit x tends to 1 plus. For 1 plus, we know that x is greater than 0, that means it is greater than 1 also. We will take this value. That is your n x cube plus m. Now substitute in x 1. What we will get? We will get n plus m. Here you can see what? Both are equal. So now here we can we can write limit x tends to 1 minus is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus. 